after an adjustment by Dr. Davis and uh, half a dozen treatments, I guess it was a dozen treatments, uh, I kind of went on my own. The cartilage in the knee has, it has totally rebuilt and my meniscus is at about 70%. I was biking up in uh, Alaska this past winter up in the foothills and uh, just no issues, no pain. So how much are you biking? How would you say on an average day? How many miles do you go? I probably do 15 to 20 on a Whoa. On, on a shot. Well, and, and I went from uh, 280 uh, down to I'm probably 210 today. Wow. Uh, that in itself is a huge, you know, just being able to get back in shape. With a bad knee, it's... Right, because now you're able to be active and you're Super out there active. doing what you love to do, riding riding that bike across country everywhere. Yeah, having a good time. If you got your health and your body and your knees. Absolutely. You enjoy your life. So what would you tell other people out there who are suffering from knee pain? You've got to come and see Dr. Davis. There is no point in struggling with an achy knee or bone on bone like I had bone on bone right and uh, it's a gotcha hi I'm dr. Robert Davis with active health knee and shoulder and I'm here today to explain to you how our non-surgical operation has helped hundreds of people that were previously suffering with chronic degenerative knee pain get back to those activities that enrich their lives many of the people that come to our clinic are looking for help and have been suffering with knee pain for quite some time. And they've tried the injections, they've taken the drugs, they've, they've had the various therapies, all with little to no improvement. This leads their doctor to tell them that they have bone on bone degeneration and that their final and only option is to have their knee replaced. Well, I'm here to tell you that you do have another option. Our non-surgical operation is a neurological treatment system that resets the communication between your brain and your knee, instantly decreasing pain and inflammation, increasing strength and flexibility, increasing blood flow and tissue healing, and allowing you to get back to those activities that you were missing out on. You see, there are two important nerves that control the movement of your knee. One of them is the sciatic nerve. And the sciatic nerve branches off the lower part of your spine and it runs right into the back of the knee. It actually goes into a tiny little muscle called the popliteus muscle. And this is a muscle that attached to your, your femur bone, your tibia bone, and it unlocks the knee so that the bone's clear when it bends. The other nerve is your femoral nerve. Now your femoral nerve branches off the, basically the same area here and it runs into your quadricep muscles. Your quadricep muscle is what controls the extension of your leg. So when you reach out to take a step or if you were to kick a soccer ball, that's that femoral nerve firing into those quadricep muscles. If there is a lesion along the pathway, now let me just explain this. The right knee is controlled by the left side of your brain, okay? The left side of your brain is gonna control your right knee. So if there is a lesion along the pathway, what I mean by that is if there is some type of interference which is causing static in the lines, guess what happens? The knee stops unlocking before it bends and the bones don't clear and they start shearing together. And this is what leads to that chronic degenerative knee pain that most people are suffering with. So what we do, what's different about what we do is we get to the cause of the problem. We reset the communication so your brain talks to your knee and your knee can talk back to your brain and the knee starts to unlock again. You can get back to all those things that you've been missing out on. So if you're suffering, if you have a loved one that is suffering, with chronic degenerative knee pain, you've tried the drugs, you've taken the injections, you've listened to the doctor, done all the therapies, and you've got little to no results, then it's time to give us a call. On the screen here, we have a phone number. Give us a call today. Within two visits, we'll be able to tell you whether you're a good candidate for a non-surgical operation. We'll do a thorough a neurological examination and a thorough report of findings. So give us a call today. I look forward to meeting you 
and I look forward to helping you. God bless. Welcome to After Health Knee and Shoulder. Most of our patients are nearing retirement age or already in retirement. At your first visit, we wanna to get to know you and why you're here. What are your challenges and what are your goals? How is your knee pain negatively impacting your life? Is it affecting you going for walks with your spouse or kneeling down to play with your grandkids or pick up a golf ball? Is it affecting your sleep? Once we discover why you're here and what your goals are, then it's my job to determine whether or not you're a good candidate for our non-surgical operation. I'll perform a complete neurological examination to determine the role of your nervous system in your knee pain. And then I'll order any necessary x-rays. Your next step will be to schedule your report of findings at the front desk. At your report of findings, I will let you know whether or not you're a good candidate for a non-surgical operation. I'll give you my best recommendations to help you achieve the goals that you're looking for. I'll let you know what went wrong with your knee and I'll help you understand why all the movements you've done in the past without a problem have now become so difficult. I'll explain how our non-surgical operation works and what it's actually doing to get the knee to unlock again. You'll also get an understanding of the assisted therapies in the office and how they help to reduce pain and inflammation and assist with tissue healing. This is a team effort. You will need to do some therapy at home as well for the best results, so I'll explain what that looks like. Next, I'll go over the details of your care plan, the costs, and take care of payment. Now you're ready for your procedure. We'll bring you through certain movements before we do the procedure, so we have something to compare with afterwards. We want to see a, a good improvement. We're not looking for you to run up and down the hallway afterwards, but we do want to see a significant improvement after we do this non-surgical operation. The NSO works similar to a tendon reflex. When I tap on your patella tendon below the knee, one little tap tells your brain to quickly strengthen your quadricep muscles and your leg kicks out into extension. I take the knowledge of the nervous system layers deeper and I get the knee to unlock properly by resetting the communication between your knee and your brain. Now you're ready for your non-surgical operation. We'll bring you through some movements before we do the procedure, just like you saw in the videos of patients who have had the procedure done. We'll have you transition from sitting to standing, have you do a squat, have you walk up and down the stairs. We wanna see where you're at so that we can see a comparison after we do the procedure. The operation takes about 30 minutes. It doesn't involve any drugs, no surgery, and no injections. The NSO works similar to a tendon reflex. When I tap on your patella tendon below the knee, one little tap tells your brain to quickly strengthen your quadricep muscles and your leg magically kicks into extension. I take the knowledge of the nervous system, I take it many layers deeper, and we spend about a half an hour retraining your knee and your brain to communicate correctly so there's no static in the lines. This is what allows your knee to start unlocking properly. And that's why we see so many dramatic results after the first procedure. Many of our patients have been suffering with knee pain for months and sometimes years. For quite some time, they've had difficulty navigating stairs, transitioning from sitting to standing, squatting, or just going for a walk. Your knee joint has gotten sloppy and weak and has put an unwanted stress on the supporting ligaments and tendons. Once we determine the knee procedure was successful, you will be given a home routine to build back the strength and stability you had lost. 
We want your everyday activities to become easy again. Functional neurologists work with neurological disorders without the use of drugs and surgery. Dr. Davis has been in practice for over 20 years. He is a board certified chiropractic physician and graduated from Life University in Marietta, Georgia, where he received his doctorate degree in chiropractic and earned his bachelor degree in nutrition. He knows the body inside and out, top to bottom. I'd like to give you a tour of our office. This area is our assisted therapies. Once Dr. Davis has performed his non-surgical operation, he will have you do some of these therapies to assist in the healing process. Many of our patients are told they have bone-on-bone -bone degeneration and only given the option of a knee replacement surgery. The knee on track helps by opening up the spaces between the bones and facilitating the unlocking of the knee. The back on track is a spinal decompression table that opens up the spaces between your vertebrae, removing nerve pressure. This allows your brain and your need to communicate without interference, improving function and stability. Once we have the, all the joint spaces open, we have you get on the Pulse Electromagnetic Frequency Therapy, PEMF, which recharges the cells and increases blood flow. The total brain and body therapy forces the maximum amount of oxygen where it is needed most, the damaged and inflamed tissue, and allows them to return to a normal aerobic metabolism. Together, all of these therapies help and reduce pain and inflammation, increase blood flow, and assist in the healing process. I would like to point out that Dr. Davis is a certified functional neurologist, a certified trigenics practitioner, which you're gonna learn a lot about today. I'm Dr. Robert Davis with Active Health Knee and Shoulder. You may be asking why our clinic doesn't take insurance. The answer is simple, because we wanna provide you the best opportunity for you to be living that active, pain-free life that you may have been told you couldn't live unless you took the injections, took the drugs, and eventually had the surgery. Most places only prescribe drugs designed to cover up your pain symptoms, but that doesn't really solve your problem. That's why at Active Health, we're different. We resolve your knee and neuropathy pain with natural methods getting to the cause of your problem. Our therapies and procedures use technology that is so advanced that they haven't been accepted by insurance, but the benefit you will receive avoiding unnecessary drug surgery injections is priceless. Is it worth working outside of your insurance? Yes, it is. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to our patients. Really bad knee pains and just couldn't walk. And I was scheduled to have knee That's right, you were scheduled. I re scheduled. We remember that phone call. Right, scheduled for knee surgery in April, no, August. August, it was, knee surgery was in April. April. 2023. 2023. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. My hip hurts too much. So then they rescheduled mm -hmm. me for hip surgery. And um, my husband kept getting these flyers in the paper that were saying, hey, you should get Sea breeze communication. Yes. You know, yeah. see, I think you need to see this guy. And I was like, no. Right, you know? right. And so I had decided yeah. that all right, I'm going to listen to him for the first time when I came here and I couldn't walk up the yeah. stairs without pain. I remember. Uh, it was real pain and yeah. I started coming faithfully in September I think it was. 
September. We started in, yeah, September, yeah. over the summer. Yeah, yep. late August. And um, I'm telling you, I just got back from a trip from England. Yes. And I walked an average of five miles a day. Wow, that's a And lot my of friends yeah. had seen me the year before. Yes. And they said, what did you do? And oh, said, that is fantastic. Diet and the therapies and yep. the office staff is just gorgeous here. They're just gorgeous. Oh, thank they you. Really thank she, she said that you're, Marie said you're gorgeous, Becky. Oh, yes, Becky, <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you, Marie. Yeah, yeah so that, thank you very oh, much for sharing. I remember when you first came in and there, you know you were doing surgery and then you didn't you weren't getting surgery and then you saw a flyer and then i think i had something up at the car wash you or did. something my husband impressed me yeah. and he grabbed it and then you saw it in both places so yeah yeah, yeah so it's good it was calling you yeah my <laughs> husband he was and i'm telling you my life is very different i wouldn't have been able to do this year Awesome. I'm so glad you had fun on your trip. Mm -hmm. We just got back from it. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, You're Maria. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. How low can you go? Wow, she did it with a smile this time. Wow, that really improved. That really improved. So you can hold on to that railing. Yep, there you go. And back up the stairs. You're a pro at this. How are you feeling, Marie? Oh my gosh, there's no pulling, there's no pain. You know, there's stiffness, but it's, it's unbelievable. You started off at a seven. Your pain level was at a seven. What do you think it is now? Probably a two. A two, yeah. On and off for a long, long time, but I fell. Oh, eight I see. Weeks ago, running up the steps and um, really hit it hard. Okay and um, it just won't bounce back anymore. Um, moving slow, any kind of activity, it's, it's gone. And I'm limping, walking crooked, unsteady, gaining weight, which I know doesn't help for the pressure on the knee. Yeah, I can't live like this anymore. Yeah, so you're here to get some relief so you can get back to those activities. I'm gonna have you just do a couple different maneuvers for me so we can see exactly where the pain is and where we're gonna start with your procedure. I can see it in your face already, yep. Yeah, it's... And slowly come back up. It hurts. Now, I want you to point to where it was hurting. All right in the, the front part of the knee. Below the so, kneecap. This whole area. The whole kneecap, okay. Right okay, all right. So I want you to go up and down the stairs for me. I want I you to hold to on. Take a chance of flopping over. And... Okay. Yeah, and... I'm like an old lady, like an old rickety. Well, we're gonna get you young again. <laughs> At least walking. And before this, I mean, I'd run up these steps. I'd run up four, five flights of steps with not even holding on to anything. So your balance is affected too? My balance is horribly affected. Like I'll be walking inside my unit, my condo, and I'll be <laughs> knocking into the wall. Right, because you just kind of lose your balance yeah, you and then you got to catch yourself. Right, it's like, you know, nothing's... So going up and down the stairs, was it the same spot hurting? Yeah. Was it worse going down it's the stairs? Going down. Or coming up? Okay, so down the stairs was worse. All right, you ready to get started? Sure Let's do it. Seven and release. Take a deep breath. And press. One, two, three. Press. Four, five. All right, I'm going to have you walk down the end of the hallway. Okay. Yeah. And then come down the end of the hallway, turn around and come back. Here she yeah. comes. Here she comes, walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not looking for perfect, but you you should oh feel much gosh. yeah. What feels different, Celeste? Oh, when I put my way down walking, I don't collapse. Oh, awesome! That's so you feel great. like it's a little bit stronger. Oh, yeah, it's not as weak as what it was before. Right, right. I'm not weak, and it's not as painful when I put my body weight on the right Yay. side. Good job. Yay. Yay! Welcome aboard, Celeste. <laughs> All right, Celeste has done her first non-surgical operation with Dr. Davis on that right knee. So Celeste, let's see what you can do. Can you stand up for me? Okay. 
How was that? Great. Arms out in front. How low can you go? Wow, that's definitely a lot faster and smoother. And you're at a 90. That's perfect. Slowly come back up. Look at you. <laughs> and she even does it with a smile on her face this time. <laughs> All right, let's do those stairs, Celeste. Okay, let's do these stairs. Oh my gosh, fast. And look at that. No handrails. No handrails. You're back to your old self again. How about that? All right, Celeste, let's talk about this. You were at an eight when you started. What do you think your pain level is now? Oh, I would say a three, maybe. Awesome, Between a awesome. Three and, a four. and you, um, but the flexibility is back. Good. And and what about the balance? Do you feel like your balance right, is better? The okay. The balance is better, so that I I'm not you know grabbing. Right. So you feel secure, right. and you feel like you can do it without any assistance. Right. It's not. I'm not totally pain free, but it's doable. So I let's guess. talk about that Motrin and, and Aleve. When was the last time you took it? 6 a.m. So All it's right. Been, so I'm two hours overdue for my dose. Okay, and, and you feel I'm okay? I'm probably going to let it go all afternoon. All right. So one of the things we want you to do is we want you to go for a walk this afternoon. Right. Just like a 20 minute walk, we need you to keep that um, joint moving, keep it lubricated. And so and we can help strengthen those muscles and then we'll have you come back in for your therapies. Vilma, why did you come in the office today? I come in to do my first therapy because I want to be a pain free. And you have been having a knee problem, that right knee and left hip. Yeah. So how long have you been dealing with that discomfort and, and pain? Maybe for three or more years. Wow, so a long time. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work in. So are you standing a lot? Are you walking a lot? I, I, my job, I stay seat more, but I love to do a lot of activities and I can't do it no more. Okay, because the pain is no just more. getting too I, bad. I be at home. When I'm off, I be at home. I don't go anywhere because they you, bother me a lot. It hurts. Even you, when I go to shopping, to my grocery or whatever, I have to buy right away because I can't. Right, right. So what is your discomfort level right now on that knee? 10. It's a 10. And it's always a 10. Go from a seated position to a standing position. Okay. Where did you feel that? Right there underneath that kneecap and on the inside. Any other place hurt you whenever you tried to stand? And that hip right there too. Okay. All right. Keeping your heels on the ground. How low can you go down? And I know squatting is very difficult for you. I can see in your so face. Painful. And slowly come back up. Where did you feel it? Painful. Did you feel it the yeah, same spots painful. on the inside and on below that kneecap? Okay. I want you to hold on to that railing. And you live on a second story, so yeah. you have to go up and down stairs every day several times. I that I have barks. Yes, that you have handrails. Yes. All right, and we're going to go back up the stairs. It is beautiful out here today. Okay, so Vilma, was it more painful going down the stairs or coming up the stairs? To go up the stairs. And were you feeling it in those same hot spots that you were before? On the inside of that knee and below the kneecap. All right, so are you ready to get started? Yes. All right, welcome aboard. Take a deep breath and pull up. One and two and three. Three, four, five, six. Way up. Pull, pull. That's pull, it, Noma. Pull, pull. Yes. That was much farther. Go. Pull. One. Keep the other leg straight. Keep going, three. You got it. You got to pull through it. Pull. Breath, breathe. You got it. Pull up. One, two. Keep going. All the way. Pull. 
Those knees are bending much better. Yeah, they're, you're walking better. Oh, yeah. We got some more. How are you feeling, Vilma? Different. Much better. I think they went from 10 to, to 4 or 3. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's a good, really good sign. Vilma has finished her treatment with Dr. Davis, her non surgical operation on that right knee. So. Vilma, can you stand up for me? How was that? Any pain or anything like that? No, I don't feel pain. Arms out in front. How low can you go? Vilma, that's much better. That is yeah. much better because you couldn't even squat it. I'll look at you showing off. <laughs> go, Vilma. <laughs> All right, girl, let's try those stairs. I am so happy for you. And back up the stairs. No handrails that time. Okay, now I'm going to really challenge you. I want you to use the handrail this time, but I only want you to place one foot per step. Okay. Okay? So I want you to try that for me, okay? So one. Yep. One, two. Yes. Three. Yes. Okay. Like this? Yep, and now, yes, that's it, that's it! That's how you're supposed to walk up and down stairs. You couldn't do that before, look at you. Vilma, what would you tell other people who are, haven't quite decided if they want to come in or not? What would you tell Don't them? Don't even think about it, come. That is the best solution. Perfect, thank you, and welcome to the family. We're gonna put you on some therapies today and get you started on your nutrition. Okay. And we're gonna have you dancing in no time. <laughs> I've had skeptics in the past. It's no different for you than it is for anyone that has ever come to our clinic that's a skeptic. The proof is in the pudding. Feeling better is what's going to help you understand the difference of having real long-term corrective relief instead of just taking a pill to cover up the symptoms as your condition gets worse underneath the surface. I invite you to take the opportunity to connect with myself and my team. Allow us to explain exactly how it all works and what kind of benefits you're going to get from it. This process is all about helping you understand what it is so you don't have some made up idea in your mind what it could be. Still have questions? Call the number on the screen and my team and I will be happy to discuss any concerns you might have. I look forward to meeting you and I look forward to helping you. God bless.